Work it, make it, do it Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger Work it harder, make it better Do it faster, makes us stronger Welcome to the book smoke and welcome to my Thursday tales on a Friday. Um, I'm not uh, busy at work today um, and I had some personal things going on yesterday um, so I forgot to film my Thursday tales yesterday so I'll be doing that today and then I also have a book haul to follow that. So I'm kind of in between two books at the moment um, so I'm still reading Waiting for Doggo by Mark B. Mills. Um, it's good, but obviously I've stopped for now because I'm also reading something else. And that something else is Reawakened by Colleen Hook, which is uh, one of the books I got for review. It's brilliant so far. I'm not going to go into detail because I haven't finished it. But I'm 74 pages in and I'm loving it. It's all about... Um, ancient Egyptian mythology and stuff like that um, so yes when I finish that I'll do a review but yeah I'm loving it so far okay and now on to the book haul so I have one book that I received for a review and five that I bought myself so the first book I have is the one that I received for a review I was sent this from Headline via Bookbridger and it's The Life I Left Behind by Colette Macbeth. I like this cover a lot. And even the press release. I'll show you the press release. It's really pretty. Look at that. Very pretty, but anyway. It says, Six years ago, Melody was left for dead. When the body of another woman, Eve, is discovered, Melody knows her attacker is still out there. The only way she can survive is to follow the clues of the life that Eve left behind. So, it's written from the perspective of a girl who is dead. Um, yeah, and she knows who killed this other girl. But, obviously she can't do much about it because she's dead. So that's a really interesting premise. Um, and this comes out on the 13th of August. Wow, most of the review books I've received this week, last week, have come out 13th of August, so that's interesting. But yes. So that is The Life I Left Behind by Colette Macbeth. Um, okay, moving on to the books I bought. The first one is Being Mortal by Atul Gawande. And I saw this on the front, Illness, Medicine and What Matters in the End, and... I really needed it because if you know I recently read Shaking Hands with Death by Terry Pratchett which is um, a speech that Terry Pratchett gave but his it's his argument against the right to be able to choose whether to live or die if you have a terminal illness and it's brilliant I've done a review for it so you can check that out but it says never before has aging been such an important topic for even as medical advances push the boundaries of survival further each year, we have become profoundly detached from the reality of being mortal. Here, Atul Gawande outlines a story that crosses the globe as he explores the modern experience of morality. What it's like to get old and die, how medicine has changed this and how it hasn't, where our ideas about death have gone wrong. The systems that we have put in place to manage our morality are manifestly failing. But, as Gawandi reveals, it doesn't have to be this way. The ultimate goal, after all, is not, a is not a good death, but a good life, all the way to the very end. So I thought it sounded really interesting. And I'm loving the cover. But yeah, this just sounded really interesting to me. Okay, the next book I got is Quite a Beast. It's The School for Good and Evil, The Last Ever After. By Soman Chainani. This cover is the best of all of them. It's so pretty. Uh, this is the third book in the Happily Ever uh, The School for Good and Evil trilogy. I have the other two books. I read half of the first one and that's it. Um, this one, however, is a beast. Look at that. It is a chunker. 
It's almost 700 pages. Yeah, 655 pages. It's humongous. But if you don't know what the other books are, that is them. But yes, I'm not going to read the synopsis because it's the third book and I've only read half of the first book. But really excited to crack on with this trilogy and get it done. Yeah. Okay, next book I got sounded really interesting to me. And as you know, I don't read a lot of crime and stuff, but this one just piqued my interest when I was in the shop. And this is In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. On the front it says, someone's getting married, someone's getting murdered. And I do love the cover. And yes, it says, Nora hasn't seen Claire for ten years, not since Nora walked out of school one day and never came back. Until out of the blue an invitation to Claire's hen do arrive. Is this a chance for Nora to finally put her past behind her? But something goes wrong, very wrong. Some things can't stay secret forever. So yes, I'm very intrigued by this one. And it has a very interesting format inside. Let me show you here. Like, it's, all the text is central, and it's quite large, which I think is quite strange, but this is her debut thriller, and I'm excited for it. And under the dust jacket, it looks like this. It's gorgeous. So, yes, excited for In a Dark Dark Wood. Okay, the next book I brought is... Life or Death by Michael Robotham. This sounded this sounded very interesting to me. And it says Audi Palmer has spent a decade in prison for an armed robbery in which four people died. Seven million dollars has never been recovered and everybody believes that Audi knows where the money is. For ten years he has been beaten, stabbed, throttled and threatened almost daily by his prison guards, inmates and criminal gangs. Who all want an answer to the same question. But suddenly Audi vanishes the day before he's due to be released. Everybody wants to find Audi, but he's not running. Instead he's trying to save a life, and not just his own. So this sounds really interesting, and this is quite a beast as well. Including the epilogue, this is like 520 pages, so it's quite big. And the last book I got is What Katie Did by Susan Coolidge. Now this is a children's classic that was first published in 1872. Um, it says on the back, Katie dreams of a life of adventure, as well as being good, kind and beautiful, but a terrible accident will change her future forever. And it's one of these scholastic classics. But I just thought it sounded really interesting and it's very short. And this cover's really pretty. So yes, that is my Thursday Tales on a Friday and a book haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish, you may subscribe. And I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.